The Redmi Note 8 is a great phone and by rooting it will become more functional because you can install unofficial apps and also watch videos on Android Auto. In this guide I will show you how to unlock the bootloader and how to root the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8. Before you start please make a backup of your phone to not lose your data. This is an unofficial procedure and it's for those who have some experience with this kind of things. So, let's get started. Go to settings. Tap about phone. And enable the developer option on your phone by tapping the MIUI version box seven times. Return to settings home. Tap additional settings and go to developer options. Enable USB debugging and OEM unlock. Go to MI Unlock Settings and add your MI account. If you don't have an MI account, you can create one browsing the site below. Now download and install the ADB controllers and MTK controllers on your PC from the website below. Download the file MI Flash Unlock from the site below. Decompress the file miflash unlock and run miflash underscore unlock dot exe inside the folder. Accept the conditions by clicking on the agree button and log in your mi account. Turn off the phone. Press without releasing the power button and the volume down button until the flash boot menu comes out. Connect the phone to the PC using its USB cable and click on unlock. Click Unlock again. Now the program will warn you that you must wait 168 hours, 7 days to unlock the bootloader. So you have to wait. And when 168 hours passed, connect the phone to the PC in fast boot mode as seen before. Start the MI Unlock tool and complete the unlock procedure. Enable the developer option on your phone as seen before and enable USB debugging.
download the, the latest official version of TWRP for Redmi Note 8 from the link below, rename the file you just downloaded in twrp.img. Download the SDK Platform Tools package from link below. Decompress the zip file into a folder on your PC. Now copy the file twrp.img into the Platform Tools folder. Download the latest version of Magisk from the official XDA page. Now download the Universal DM Verity and Force Encrypt Disable file from the link below. Copy these two files to the SD card of Redmi Note 8. Connect the Redmi Note 8 to the PC with a USB cable. Launch a command prompt window with administrator rights. Move to the Platform Tools folder. Type ADB Devices and press Enter to verify that the phone is recognized. You will need to grant permission on the phone display. Type ADB Reboot Bootloader and press Enter. The phone restarts in fastboot mode. Type fastboot flash recovery twrp.img and press Enter. In this way, you install TWRP recovery on the phone. Now press the power and volume up button until the phone vibrates and the Redmi letters appears. Now release only the power button and keep holding the volume up button for 10 seconds. The TWRP recovery menu appears. In TWRP, go to Wipe and select Format Data. Don't go to Advanced. Type Yes and Format Data. This process will format all your data, so make sure your data is backed up. Go back to TWRP Home and Reboot Recovery. Please don't reboot system. 
you will have to repeat the whole process again. Select the Magisk zip file and swipe to flash. Now select Universal DM Verity and Force Encrypt Disabled Zip and swipe to flash. Make sure to flash this at least the phone or otherwise the phone won't boot. Now you can reboot system. So, if you did everything right, the phone will have root permissions. Proceed to install Magisk Manager by downloading the APK file from the official XDA page and verify that your phone has root by installing the root checker app from Google Play. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.